Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devi, and in this segment, we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements: Wetlands are biodiversity-rich aquatic ecosystems. National Green Tribunal is set up under the National Green Tribunal Act of 2014 for expeditious disposal of cases related to wetland protection. So we have to select the correct statement. Both of them are incorrect. Option D will be the correct answer. Now, recently, the National Green Tribunal has directed Delhi and Haryana to enforce the Environment Management Plan. It is prepared by the two government for the rejuvenation and protection of the Najafgarh Jheel, which is a transboundary wetland. These are defined as lands which are transitional between terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem, where the water table is usually at or near the surface, or the land is covered by shallow water. 2nd February is World Wetlands Day and it was on this date in 1971 that the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands was adopted in Ramsar, Iran. It is a specialized body set up under the National Green Tribunal Act, the National Green Tribunal, of course, we are talking about here, for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and also the conservation of forests and other natural resources. With the establishment of NGT, India became the third country and the first developing country in the world to set up a specialized environmental tribunal only after Australia and New Zealand. Consider the following statements regarding Tipu Sultan. He introduced a new Mauludi lunisolar calendar. He became a member of the Jacobin Club. He wrote a Fatul Mujahideen which explained the operation of rockets. So as we have to select the correct statement, all of them are correct. Option D is the correct answer. Recently, Mysore King Tipu Sultan has emerged as at the center of controversy. Tipu Sultan was born in November 1750. He was Hyder Ali's son and a great warrior, also known as the Tiger of Mysore. Tipu introduced a number of administrative innovations during his rule, which included coinage, a new Maludi Luni Solar calendar and a new land revenue system, which initiated the growth of Mysore silk industry. He organized his army on the European model with Persian words of command. Though he took the help of French officers to train his soldiers, he did not have any sort of pressure upon the soldiers of his soldiers basically. So French officers were also training them, but there was no pressure. He was also a patron of science and technology and is credited as the pioneer of rocket technology in India. He wrote a military manual explaining the operation of rockets. Tipu was a great lover of democracy. He was a great diplomat who gave his support to the French soldiers at Serengi Patinam in setting up a Jacobin club in 1797. Tipu himself became a member of the Jacobin club and allowed himself to be called Citizen Tipu. He planted the tree of liberty at Serengi Patinam. Which of the following countries have a border with Lithuania? Belarus. Russia, Ukraine, Estonia. The correct answer is Belarus and Russia. That is option A. Recently, the European Union angered China by launching a case against Beijing at the World Trade Organization for targeting Lithuania over its stance on Taiwan. Lithuania is bounded by Latvia, Belarus and Poland and the detached Russian oblast of Kaliningrad to the southwest and the Baltic Sea to the west as we see this map. Moving on to the next question, consider the following pairs match the constitutional amendment and the significance. First amendment introduced the ninth schedule, 24th amendment reduced the voting age, 61st amendment defection declared illegal. So we have to select the not correctly matched pairs, second and third are not correctly matched, first is correctly matched. Option C is the correct answer. If we talk about the First Amendment Act 1951, it provided for the saving of laws, providing for acquisition of estates. It added the ninth schedule to protect the land reforms and other laws included in it from the judicial review. After Article 31, Articles 31A and B were also inserted. 24th Amendment Act 1971 affirmed the power of Parliament to amend any part of the Constitution including fundamental rights by amending Article 13 and 368. It made it compulsory for the President to give his assent to a constitutional amendment bill. 
the 61st Amendment Act of 1989 reduced the voting age from 21 years to 18 years for the Lok Sabha and State Legislative Assembly elections. With respect to SSLV, that is, small satellite launch vehicle, consider the following statements. It aims to cater to the markets for the launch of small satellites into Earth's geostationary orbits. New Space India Limited aims to mass produce the SSLV in partnership with the private sector in India through technology transfers. We have to select the correct statement. First is not correct because it doesn't launch the small satellites into geostationary orbit but lower Earth orbit. And second is actually correct. So first is incorrect, second is correct, option B is the correct answer. Recently, ISRO chairman has mentioned the launch of an SSLV D1 microsat in April 2022. The SSLV aims to cater to the market for the launch of small satellites into Earth's low orbits and not geostationary ones. It has emerged in recent years to cater to the needs of developing countries, universities for small satellites and private corporation. NSIL is to mass produce and manufacture the SSLV and the more powerful PSLV in partnership with the private sector in India through technology transfers. It aims to use research and development carried out by ISRO over the years for commercial purposes through Indian industry partners. Consider the following statements. Great Nicobar is the northernmost island of the Nicobar Island archipelago. The Mongoloid Shompin tribes live in the forest of Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve. We have to select the correct statement. Option B is the correct answer. The recently released Draft Environment Impact Assessment Report for the Mega Development Project in Great Nicobar Island has raised serious questions related to accuracy and failure to follow appropriate procedure. Great Nicobar is the southernmost island of Nicobar Island archipelago. It covers approximately 1 lakh hectares of unique and threatened tropical evergreen forest ecosystem. It is home to a very rich ecosystem, includes many species of angiosperms, ferns, gymnosperms, bryophytes. The Mongoloid Shompin tribe, about 200 in number, live in the forest of the Biosphere Reserve, particularly along the rivers and streams. Moving on. With respect to the Women Freedom Fighters of India, consider the following statements and we have to choose the correct one. Rani Abaka was the first Tuluwa queen who fought the Portuguese. Parbati Giri, a prominent female freedom fighter, was nicknamed the Mother Teresa of Western Odisha. So we have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. As part of the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav celebrations this year, the Ministry of Culture will release three pictorial books on 75 unsung heroes of freedom struggle in partnership with Amar Chitrakatha. The first part is dedicated to 20 women whose contributions remain largely unknown, such as Rani Abakka. The first Tulva queen of Ullal who fought the Portuguese in the later half of the 16th century. Matangani Hazra, who was the Bengali revolutionary who was shot dead by the British Indian police in September 1942. Chakali Ilamma, whose acts of defiance against the local Zamindar became an inspiration for many during the rebellion in Telangana region and Parvati Giri, was nicknamed the Mother Teresa of Western Odisha, who was a prominent freedom female freedom fighter from the state. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Central Asia. It extends from the Caspian Sea in the west to the border of western China in the east. The region consists of the countries of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Now we have to select the not correct statement. Both are correct. Option D will be the correct answer over here. Two days after China held a virtual summit with Central Asian countries, India too stepped in and pitched for an integrated approach for regional connectivity and cooperation for the next 30 years. Central Asia or Central Region of Asia extends from Caspian Sea in the west to the border of Western China in the east and is bounded on the north by Russia and south by Iran, Afghanistan and China. It consists of former Soviet republics of Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and Turkmenistan. Moving on. Let's see the map of Central Asia. These are the many countries of Central Asia. Horizon 2. Priority projects. Recently seen in the news belong to which of the following countries? The correct answer is option B. Philippines. India's Brahmos Aerospace and Philippines are set to sign a deal on Friday for the Philippine Marine to acquire three batteries of the Brahmos cruise missile in a deal worth almost 
three seventy five million dollars. The deal for the Brahmos was conceptualized as far back as two thousand seventeen, and the office of the Philippines president approved its inclusion in the military's Horizon Two priority projects in twenty twenty. Moving on, the digital sunset app has been launched. With regard to this, consider the following statements. It has been launched by the Ministry of Education. in collaboration with ministry of electronics and information technology it can be accessed to the members of the parliament only so we have to select the not correct statement both are actually not correct option c is the correct answer the lok sabha secretariat has launched a new app digital sansar it is a brain child of lok sabha speaker om birla who has sought to make parliamentary proceedings more accessible to people It will help members of the parliament access services such as checking personal updates like status of their notices. In future, the MPs can log for attendance, give questions for the questioner, or submit notices for debates or adjournment motion. In addition to proceedings in the current house, people will also be able to access archival data related to all Lok Sabhas and will be having access to speeches, debates. Moving on, with respect to Jordan, consider the following statements. The Gulf of Aqaba separates Jordan from Egypt. It shares borders with three countries. We have to select the correct statement. Option A, that is statement one, is correct. Second is not correct. Option A is the correct answer. The Jordanian military said on Thursday that troops have killed twenty-seven suspected smugglers attempting to enter the country from neighboring Syria, Jordan, which is an Arab country of South West Asia, in the rocky desert of Northern Arabian Peninsula. It is situated at the crossroads of Asia, Africa, and Europe within the Levant region on the east bank of Jordan River, and is bordered by Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Syria, Israel, West Bank of Palestine, and the Dead Sea. In the southwest, it has a coastline of Gulf of Aqaba, the Red Sea, which separates Jordan from Egypt. So we see the map of Jordan over here. Moving on to the next question, which is the practice question. Consider the following statements. Bara Singha is found exclusively in Kanha Tiger Reserve. Bara Singha is the state animal of Madhya Pradesh. Bara Singha is listed as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List. So we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.